I like having fun. I like to laugh. I like to meet people who can make me laugh. Good morning. Good morning. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. Wake up. What if someone's actually asleep right now and this is how they've been awoken? They've, they've drifted off. It's Tim Heidecker here for Office Hours. On behalf of Office Hours, it's Tim Heidecker, May 9th. Wake up. Wake, Wake up. up. And Wake we're up. down a man, down a man. We got Doug off in Europe representing the Eric Andre show. So if you're in Oslo or London or Sweden or any of these places, go say, say hi to Doug and tell him to get back here as soon as he can. And DJ Doug Pound is in Oslo. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, glitch in the matrix. Wow. And DJ, set it back. He's uh, playing in London. London. Right? And he's, yes, on he's his own. He's got a solo show going, in, going on in London. Everyone talk at the same time. That's right. <laughs> And I'm here with, uh, well, with v v v v DJ Vic Berger. DJ Vic Berger. <laughs> got my laptop up here today. Cowdy, y'all. <laughs> and Captain Carlin holding things down back there, and we'll have Kyle Kinane in in a second. Well, he's here, I, honestly. Let's just say hi. Oh, gonna, okay, hi. <laughs> I was going to try to be cool about it. I wasn't sure my jump in point, so I wasn't yeah. trying to. You were, I, could t I could see you outside side of my eye. You were kind of enjoying it, laughing. Yeah. But you didn't want to. You were waiting for the big entrance. But yeah, I'll not wait happening. my turn. I'll wait my turn. Kyle Kinane! We're going to get into everything, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle Kinane's got a new comedy special. I'm going to get to this right away. A new comedy special, the likes of which you've never seen before. Dirt nap. Yeah. Free. If you, if, yeah, if you like commercials. <laughs> I like that that was the biggest selling point you had yeah. for it. It's free. Well, the <laughs> if you're unsure, it's free. It's just no excuse. You're already on YouTube now. You're watching this show on YouTube. You just pause or watch later. Yeah. Watch later uh, and watch Dirt Nap. I enjoyed it. And funny stuff. I mean, yes. sure, I'm not, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -de -de -de. I mean, that's it's good shit. Yeah, thanks. But, I, that's all I wanted. Suddenly it's, feeling, it is feeling a little like club I land. I wanted club, sincerity. Club random right now. I came here for sincerity. Uh, <laughs> it's just more of the good shit. <laughs> we just got are we already sad? We're already looking at sad stuff? We're already Sorry. getting sad? <laughs> don't pay no attention to that. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. We, I, I want to do some some welcome back to me because I was away last week. Welcome back. And uh, I'm here to right the ship. We had a very contentious <laughs> episode last week. Oh, really? You know uh, Brendan Walsh? Yeah. Thoughts on Brendan Walsh? He, he, likes, to, he likes pranks. <laughs> <laughs> He's a prankster. He's a big prank guy. And he got in a little trouble with us. He, did, he well, prank, did he prank you? No, he didn't prank me. He, he, he pranked the audience because what he presented was this uh, thing that he was pranking 911. But it wasn't 911, it was a friend. I think if you prank 911, uh, it's pretty big. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's, a bad, it's a bad scene. It was Sean O'Connor. <laughs> yeah. oh, it was Sean O'Connor. It was Sean O'Connor. Shanana, big reveal. Shanana O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> but people are, you should see my audience. They're very mad about it. They're telling me what's funny. They believed it. Well, they're. <laughs> the woke mob can't take comedy. They, they, they were a little like, that's not funny, and here's why. <laughs> well, at least they explained. Yes. You know, that's courteous. And we could all learn a little bit. Yeah. Right? We, we, it was always room for growth and, and learning. But I personally watched it. On, mm -hmm. uh, on my time off from my other job, which is being a uh, celebrated actor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought I enjoyed the heck out of the show. I thought it was fun. So Did you know it was a, a, a put on from the get go? It's a put on! <laughs> <laughs> That's not a soundbite? It, it, it is. It is. Okay. I'm searching for it right I think now. I think on. Doug might have that. No, one. that's right. Doug's just serving him up over here. I know. I know. Wait for it. It's coming. Trust it's, me. Um, should I wait or not? It's a put on. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Um, I was a little. I was watching it in my trailer. Yeah. And and there there was that moment where I was like calling nine one one. I go, 
hold. I'm, I'm, mm. I'm stealing myself for trouble. Tug. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like the way this is going. And then it kind of was clear after about, but what, thirty seconds yeah, that it was a the gag. Smiles. Yeah. I think the part that upset people specifically was he uh, said that he put a bomb in the children's hospital. Not funny. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> you wouldn't really do that, though. <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> Come on, man. What if, what if that bomb went off? What if that fake bomb that doesn't exist that isn't real went off? That's the stuff that's funny when you hear somebody else tell you about it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't get in there with that kind of humor. Now, people know me. They know me to be a good, kind, wonderful person who doesn't like to go dark. <laughs> you went against the sensibilities of the show. He went, yes. He d he. Well, I talked to him about it. And he was... <laughs> Crying, he was crying. <laughs> I said, Brendan, it's all right, man. No one's gonna get it right. I mean, we do this every week, through almost 300 shows. Like, we've got it down. Yeah. You can't just step in and think it's gonna work. It's not! What <laughs> kind of hospital would have been funnier? <laughs> Veterans Hospital. Wow. There. <laughs> This is a little bit of nostalgia for you fellas. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> By the way, I got a joke. I got a joke. Am I, now am I in trouble? Yeah. <laughs> am I getting booted? <laughs> uh, I got a joke, ladies and gentlemen. You ready for a joke, ladies and gentlemen? It's We do the Tonight Show every once in a while. I get to that Tonight Show music. Yeah, that's sure. sort of bing, bang, boom. This uh, RFK Jr., folks, they're telling us RFK Jr. has, a, uh, has admitted to having a dead worm inside his brain. Have you seen that news, Kyle? That was big news. I missed it. Yeah, he released a, <laughs> he released a, some medical information as all the presidents have to do. He said, I gotta say something. Uh, they discovered a okay. dead worm in my brain. Uh, <laughs> we found out recently, uh, we looked more into this. It turns out the cause of the worm's death. Did you hear the cause of the worm's death? Uh, the, the dead worm inside uh, RFK I Jr.'s I brain? I didn't. Oh. Uh, well, the worm killed itself. <laughs> Tired of listening to that yeah. wacky, uh, wacky chatter. It's too much for the. It was even too much for the worm, uh, Kyle. Familial teeth. <laughs> it was even too much for the worm. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, suicide's not funny if anyone's considering it. Nine eight eight. Nine eight eight. Is it true? Nine eight eight. Johnny. Okay. Don't call that one, though, for pranks, Oof. either. No, that's not funny. Also sad. Um, what else do I have to mention before we get into the show? The show will begin soon. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Still practicing. Later in the show, we're going to have an exciting... We're gonna, we've got a really fun Chicago game, because Kyle's from Chi-Town. Uh, so we've de designed... A, if, you, if you're from Chi-Town, you're going to love this game. And even if you're not, even if you're not from Chi-Town, you're going to love this game. Uh, if you love music, you're really gonna like this game, right, Vic? That's no, you gotta, you won't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> if you like music, and I know a lot of you out there do. You got music fans? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people enjoy music. Yeah, it's, a lot of my audience loves all kinds of music. Wow, that's something. <laughs> And then Vic and I, I, I hope you can participate in this too, but if you want to tap out, you can. Right. But Vic and I are going to have the great unfrosted debate. <laughs> <laughs> Will I have, do I have to have seen the film? I will, we call it a film? Advertising yeah, you want to go out up in the guest house and watch it real quick? <laughs> Just crush it real fast? Yeah. I think Kyle can moderate. Vic and I have okay. opposing yeah, views on the yeah. Netflix number one or number two now, right? Number yes, two. Yes, number two. You won't what? believe oh. Tim's stance on this thing. Well, oh well save, it for, save it for what later. What took it out? Yeah, it, it was Shrek. It was yeah, Shrek. Shrek from two thousand two or whatever <laughs> is number one, and then Unfrosted from this year. Can't Shrek believe two. can't believe Netflix doesn't release the numbers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, Shrek from five years ago. <laughs> Took out the pop five tart. years ago, oh, no, whatever. Like I don't 20 know. Years ago. Twenty-two or something like that. Yeah. I don't know why I got all mad at you about that. <laughs> five. <laughs> you know your Shreks. Five years ago is January sixth, almost, oh or, or something like that. I'm just saying, time flies. We haven't had a Shrek movie in a long time. <laughs> I wasn't going to do the math on that one for you, but all right. Massive dumps. And you've got new. You got a new. Another new guy. 
Oh yeah, wait till you see this one. You'll love this. One. I'm worried about you and these new guys. They just come to me. These... Like I get fed yeah. all these like weirdos. Or, yeah, but or some nice... of these people some like are cool though. That what? one guy you had last week with a couple that look all strange. Oh yeah, yeah. What's they going only on? have like 28 views on Instagram. I don't know if like we should be <laughs> b messing with them. Well, we're discovering new talent. I, yeah, exactly. I guess so, but why is it? I mean, maybe they should be private. It's public. That's exactly Vic, right. Can you get a little closer to the mic? Sure. Why? A mile away. I there. feel like I'm closer than usual. I don't know. Really? You've just made things maybe so just, much worse. You know what? I'm going to turn no. my volume up. Maybe that's what all. it is. Hey, can no. you hear me now? <laughs> huh? Well, it's, it's bye, like bye. he's up here in the mic. Oh, it's getting excited. It's an aiming thing. And we're also going to take a minute, since we are talking ch 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 in Chicago, uh, to pay tribute. We pay tribute on our site, but to the great Steve Albini, who suddenly passed yesterday mm -hmm. or the day before. I don't know. Maybe we got the news it's yesterday. Tuesday night, yeah. Oh. Oh, he's the... Steve wouldn't want us to be on here go goofing, on, uh, not goofing, but but even talking it's an about Albini it. track. Yeah, he did those. He did, did some he early that? Sinatra stuff or late Sinatra big xylophone stuff. guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we love Steve. We had a great experience with him on uh, our our live show in Chicago mm -hmm. a couple summers ago. I, of course, you know, when you're growing up, I think I could tell you three producer names. I could tell you George Martin. Mm -hmm. I could tell you. Uh, Don Waz, <laughs> Phil Spector, Phil, Phil Spector, Rick and Ruben. <coughs> Rick anybody Rubin. the Beastie Boys shouted out yeah, in the, the middle of their songs. Right. Yeah, how yeah, do, yeah, when you're yeah. a kid, you, how do you know about these things? You just from the from either books that you know you yeah. go to Walden Books and you read the story about the Led Zeppelin and stuff. And then there's uh, Steve Albini's in that mix. Mm -hmm. You got the in your in utero. You've got. Pixie Surfer Rosa, and then all this other stuff that I don't even know. Because I don't Jesus listen to that kind of music. Yeah, and then, yeah, and then the, all the other stuff. Breeder. Yeah, the Breeder uh, first record from 90. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, you can go down a rabbit hole on him. You can f look, read all his takes and his his re the beautiful letter he wrote to Nirvana that was out, that people yeah. put out, that he explained how you should make a record. But all uh, uh, I had a great experience with him on the show. He was uh, funny and he combative. He he pushed back when I did some shit that he th thought was inappropriate. I liked that because I don't like sycophants. This guy, Kyle, he's just been oh. kissing my ass the whole show. <laughs> Push back! <laughs> yeah, I don't agree with what you said there. There you go. I think I was that makes for good television. I was at odds with some of the things you said earlier. I appreciate that. I appreciate the on the candor. I thought my subtle facial expressions. No, you're showed you're, that. you're it's true. You're icing me out. Man. That's good, right? Yeah. Then what? Did he call in again? I don't know what you want from yeah, him. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he uh, to promote the letters to Santa, his wife started this great organization in Chicago that our pal Fred Armisen is also involved in yeah. to like bring uh, food and toys to needy people. And yeah, he called into, he got... I think they got uh, George Went to call in. Oh that's yeah, right. that's right. Yeah. But he George was, Wentz yeah. got some free time. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> but he was very oh, cool. He to got us. into George Went's busy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, very cool to us. Very, you know, communicative. We I, we hit him up on Twitter. That's how we got involved. With yeah, him. and he had heard good things about me. Yeah, of course, of course, through the various connections. Big poker player. There. You want to see Is his he? duck call? Yeah. That was fun. Remember, he brought out that duck call. The duck call? Yeah, he had a duck call. I don't there. remember this. I didn't remember. We and we hired him a birthday clown. People have this idea that I have a memory of anything we do on the show. I don't. Oh, I, I look forgot. forward. I don't think back. It's multifaceted. Yeah. yeah, got a lot going on. All right, Wes, you want to pull up this duck call? That's what I needed. To... <laughs> I'll be yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Groundbreaking. Well, you'll be hearing that, uh, the audience will be hearing that particular sound for many years to come in future broadcasts, yeah. I'm sure. I guess not. Ken Vandermark and I are going to be doing a set at the Hungry Brain later tonight. I bet. <laughs> Got the Pierre shirt Missing on. file. What the hell? <laughs> Uh-oh. The, the what shirt? The Pierre. Pierre is the bass player from Naked Reagan. Oh, there you go. So here's the well, that point of this, everybody. The I point of this is I think it's a reminder that I can... I cannot die. There can be no circumstance where I die. I can't. I can't handle this concept. You, you would not want people to tribute you in the way that you've celebrated your own life. 
I can't do it. I can't do a birthday thing. How am I going to do the, the, the death? How do, you, how do you like to be celebrated in life? <clears throat> Show me the money. Full, full cash. Show me the money. <clears throat> full no. quinceanera uh, death. No, it's, it's, I don't want to get into it, man. It's dark, you know. I'm going to get into like... I'm pushing back. Let's get True, you are pushing back. Fuck, he's fucking pushing back. Sound effect for pushing back. Get something. Oh, that's not it. No. He's, doing, he's doing exactly what I asked. Why am I rejecting him? This is what I asked for, and here I am. He's giving it to me, and I am, am full of rejection. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, what, <laughs> would you want what, a big if, joke the, funeral? A big joke. A big everybody. Cl That's the problem. Out. Who's going to be in charge? You? Yeah. I'll produce it. Sure. Yeah. Everyone's going to make a big mockery. Of a lot them. of sound effects, bleeps and bloops yeah. and fart noises. Some my dad will get up there. Well, let's hope he's gone by then. <laughs> let's hope. I think the best case scenario is everyone's parents are dead before <clears throat> you're dead. Right? He's in a better place now. Slide whistle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, you know what? I'm just going to I'm going to Jim Morrison it. I'm going to go off and disappear and then there'll be rumors that I'm alive. Mm -hmm. like it's like, Kaufman. oh, you're going to look Kaufman. Yeah. yeah. You're going to be in an overrated band first. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard the the doors without Jim Morrison? <clears throat> no. No, it's worse. <laughs> of course. It is. <laughs> if you can believe it. <laughs> Somehow it's worse. <laughs> There's a you got to find that. Yeah, Somehow. there is. A, yeah. there's, there's a few, <laughs> pretty sure I know why. Pretty obvious why. <laughs> Yeah, J uh, Ray Manzarek takes over lead vocals, so now you got keyboard organ man singing. He's really uh, popping up around again, huh? He's uh, passed. Which one? There's oh, one no, of them that oh, just Krieger. keeps showing up. He's, he's everywhere. Some he's at Largo all the time. Just kind of <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> we do it at Largo. Yeah, we tried to he, we tried to get him for something on cinema, and he couldn't. What was the thing? Didn't he do a Star Spangled Banner that was yeah, really good? Yeah, yeah. See if you can find that clip of the oh. Doors Minus Jim playing on some German TV. It was the inspiration for a sketch that Eric and I did called Puss Whip Bang Gang. And it was, it's some oh, bad sorry. music. Something about the sun. Well, Is well, this no. it? No, have him, do, have him do new material. Wait, they're doing it without Jim? Uh, without Jim. Oh, oh shit. Instrumental. Oh, you know, know what, we can't that. do it because it's that beat club. It's, I like that. I like that Ray's doing like a gym impression. Yeah, hey, look, dude, I bang. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna get dinged. Hey, hard. let's take a zoomer real quick, cause uh, uh yeah. Who should we talk to? Uh, who had a topic today? Or we or the hothead hotline? Oh, I remember this one. You know this one? Yeah, this the is the one. <coughs> the mosquito is called. All right, let's talk oh. to uh, 603, Bernie. Bernie Sanders. Mr. Sanders, are you there? Oh, well. Uh, no, that's not Bernie Sanders. That was a terrible. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> it's Ronald Reagan, more like. Give it another shot. Yeah. Look, Tim, how would we hear on the show? <laughs> Nailed it. No, the, the crew's liking it. They like it. Grr. Tech loved it. Yeah. Tech loves it. Who dare? Holy shit. Hey, oh. Holy shit. I can't see you. Is this just a call? Oh, the, I'm sorry. We I didn't realize I was doing a hothead hotline so quick. How can I help you? Hi. Um, yeah. Uh, I tried these. Uh, uh, Baja Blast Doritos. Okay. Wanted to know, have you all tried them? Kyle? Because they're foul. They're foul. Oh, I, I didn't know they existed. No, I'm just finding out. Can we get an image of this right now, please? Let me see what a Baja Blast. It's a Mountain Dew flavored Dorito. Oh, sick. Um, hey, can, um, no, I can't eat. I've got a thing I have to fast for a uh, doctor thing. I was going to ask Alicia. Otherwise, you would have had Baja Blast Doritos. I'd have her go down to the corner store and get mm. some. Do you, I don't... Yeah, they're like pineapple-y, but oh. it says mango. And yeah, they're spicy, but they also just kind of taste like chemicals. Mm. It was a really big mm. letdown. 
for a seven dollar bag. What's your favorite flavor of, of Doritos? What? It's got to be the Cool Ranch. Kyle, yeah. well, what and was the expectation the of buying these? Yeah, is well, what I want to know. Not to, no no shame in the no shame not not consumer shaming. <laughs> But I don't think you're gonna get to Baja fiery mango Dorito flavor without a little science. <laughs> the the art on the bag. Not artisan. Is cute. The art on the bag is great. There's a shark in a, a sea of lava from a volcano a in the background. Art action. 100%. I'm not. I'm yeah, on your but, side. Uh, this is enticing. Do you see the volcano in the bag? That's like yeah. That's oh my god. I I'm surprised though. I mean I, that's why yeah, I'm done. The des- they did good on the marketing. Excuse bar- me. But and I'm it does kill taste like the soda. I'm desperate That's to try problem. this because I think at this stage in food, mass food <clears> manufacturing, <throat> that they would be able to nail this stuff. Would like, you Would you rather have a chip that tastes like a drink or a drink that tastes like a Dorito? Mm. See, you've got it, Kyle. That's exactly the problem is that it tastes like the soda. And That's what it's and promising. And it's just you. the texture... The, it's the texture and and it's and it's the food, but it tastes like a drink and it's and it's but the chemical you know you, you this get is very way more Christians of the trying to understand transgender people vibes right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't make any sense, man. I, I, I would I, I would walk the other I would walk the other direction from that particular bag. I would I would read the back of it. I would like. Can we get an ingredient list up here? Because I doubt. I doubt. Mango. What are we on, Doughboys? Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I I ate an entire bag of ranch flavored Takis. There you go. Do you ever have those? Or yeah, good? Takis are great. Blue. I had the blue ones. I had the blue, blue, one. <clears throat> I I the blue ones. You like cool, cool Ranch is Cool Ranch is a great Dorito. Plain Doritos are good. Although lately I found them to be. I feel like <laughs> a little staleness to them. And then because nobody's buying them. Mm. Tapatillos mm. are the best, I think. The Tapatillo Doritos. You're not putting enough dust on them, is my <laughs> bit. Cutting back. Like, All right. You're, you're, that's just a good way to describe with... a lot of things in life. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little more dust on it. Dust it up. All right, well, listen, <clears throat> I... I uh, that was, the I one, wanted, that was I one of Steve Albini's favorite production notes. Ooh, <clears> dust <throat> on Gotta it. Gotta pull a more dust on it. Uh, I'll reveal an on cinema secret. A lot of people love secrets. The the Doritos Tapatios, uh, that brand, has been our good luck charm for all our Oscar specials. From the very mm. beginning, we had a, a bag of them, and then the next year we said, "Let's get some more of those." And mm-hmm. then it became a thing where they had to have. We had to have the Dorito. It was like a little uh, um, talisman or something. Superstition. Super t- okay. superstitious. Do you eat them or you just kind of put the bag? I eat bag them. Has yes, eat I eat them. them. Okay. I enjoy them. I enjoy it. I'm probably gonna it's eat these spicy. Baja Blast ones on the way home. Yeah, d- so they don't. I don't think I've seen them in in uh, public. Are they in wide circulation? No, they're very new. Yeah, okay. I don't think they're gonna they make it out, out of the like test market. Ago. No. What's the What's the purple ba- purple uh, flavor one? Berry. There's a new one. berry. Is that like the sweet chili or some shit? Yeah, sweet the chili. That's like a tie. Those are all right. I haven't had those yet. I, there's also these weird ones that, like in a shop. I don't know where they get it, but there's a shrimp. There's there's like a shrimp flavored one and a, a squid flavored one. Be some it's Canadian. Not good. Not good. Oh, like oh no, food. shrimp chips out of England are they're delicious. I love mm. those shrimp. Is chips. that the kinds you get like when you go to a Thai restaurant and they just, it's like one big pop rock and it melts on your tongue. <laughs> I was at this fancy restaurant. No, it wasn't a fancy restaurant. Let me tell you this. Let me backtrack. Is okay. It, I'm down in uh, Albuquerque. Okay. <clears throat> sure. Doing this uh, movie. And if you're on Patreon, you've heard me tell stories. The past couple weeks I've been doing this movie down there. And you'll get the whole scoop. I, I reveal everything. You should have heard the celebrities I, I hang out with. Ooh, it's good, top good, tier stuff. That's good stuff. Patreon stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to go kiss and tell on here. Hey, guys. It's Jeremy Renner. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I would my, at my hotel, they had a restaurant, as, mm-hmm. as most hotels do. It's a nice hotel. So I'd go up there eh, a couple times a week. Maybe I went there like twice, three or four mm-hmm. times at, in, over two weeks because I'd like to get out. But a couple nights I was like, I'm just going to go up there and get a quick bite. Sure. Going to have a drink and a martini, whatever. So the last night I go there, they since I'd been there, they switched the whole menu. And the menu was good mm-hmm. and the food was good. I thought this place is pretty good. A little All expensive because right. it's a it's nice restaurant. Up. You know how it goes. So I get... 
this new menu and the wait the uh, bartender's nice lady she's like yeah this new chef came in and dropped a whole new menu and then quit <clears throat> She looks at me like, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. And then I'm looking, I didn't want a big dinner, so I see they have these Thai lettuce wrap, <laughs> Thai lettuce wraps. Okay. You can picture those, <clears throat> right? Yeah, I like them. I like them. It's like for freshing. Yeah, you make them yourself. Yeah. This was a dud. It was a dud. Mm. First of all, the thing arrived, the lettuce was all kind of wilty. Bad start. Then the chicken were cubes. They were big cubes. Mm. Not, you know how it is like- It's ground. It's yeah. ground. Ground! ground. Yeah. Thank you. Malleable. And then it was on this like kind of a stoneware plate and that had the peanuts chopped up and the sauce, there was no way to get the peanuts up off the plate because it was, you couldn't- I'm, was, dis I'm disappointed for you. Yeah. And I took, it with, I took it in stride. I'm not gonna go full Karen on the situation, but I felt I de developed a rapport with the bartender over the course of the two weeks and the restaurant itself. Mm -hmm. I had a very, you know, everyone was nice and I was nice to them. And they said, how was it? And I said, I know this is a new menu and if you're looking for feedback, I think this was kind of a duh. This didn't really work yeah. and here's why. And we had a, t a conversation about it. Yeah. I wasn't, mm -hmm. this way, I want my money back. <laughs> it wasn't like that at all. Mm -hmm. You didn't go like Jordan nope. Peterson and go in the back and cook it for him and show him how to do it? <laughs> no. He did, he did that? Yeah, he did that at, at a Oh, like the a egg diner. place, right? With yeah, the, the hash, brown, the hash browns? At yeah. a diner? Yeah, he went in the back and <laughs> I know this is how, you, know, you don't know what you're doing here. Let me show you how to do Because he, he was a shorter order, order cook when he's a kid. Right. Like oh, that's good. So <laughs> Listen, was, I'm on the same you drugs you are. Yeah, exactly. Let me show you how this omelet <laughs> exactly. gets made. <laughs> it, was it was received with uh, appreciation from the bartender. She, she was like... Thank you. I I agree with you, and we'll pass it along. And we uh, apologize. Do you think she's going to pass it along? I was going to say, do you think we're in a culture where everybody's afraid to complain about something because nobody wants to be documented as a Karen? But then there's a little bit of advantage taken by certain yeah. people, like, oh, nobody wants to be a complainer, so we yeah, just what give are you them some do, slop. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, it's too late. I'm like, I'm just going to deal with this. I'm just going to just. I was, I was disappointed with the number of shrimp that showed up on a salad once, really? and I, I had to be like. Yeah. I'm not, I don't want you to take it back. I just want to let you know. <laughs> I'm also very sorry that I'm complaining. I know. I just think that for this 20 some dollar shrimp salad, there yeah. should be like another shrimp. How many shrimp do you think there were in there? It was like, it was like four. Yeah, that's not enough. They, they were decent size. Yeah. But it was a 20 some dollar salad. The, sal right. the rest of the salad was not pulling the weight of right. five, half dozen maybe. Yeah. I think I had another situation like that while I was down there. I mean, also the hotel had the crappiest Wi-Fi. And it was like, it would work sometimes and then it would be like I could never do a Zoom call in there. And that felt a little like, guys, let's figure it out. It's Give me one or the other. Give yeah. me my lousy lettuce wraps yeah. or lousy Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit me with both barrels yeah, right it's now. it's just terrible. Because now one, I'm about to write a letter. The one hotel we stayed in, uh, the, the Wi-Fi was so shitty, then we like tried that we are going to pay for the upgrade. They're like, not worth it because it's the same. Oh, the, oh, the <laughs> that's never nobody. That's never yeah. a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's never oh. a $6 a day for yeah. a real right. executive grade. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're no. going to... It's not a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going to open the... You just see Xfinity truck parked out in front. Somebody <laughs> bought the upgrade. We got to do it. We got to get them in there. The business. The new antenna account. pops out to the top. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Let's see. Well, it is 1030, which means it's time for... The City of the Day. City of the Day. I don't think we've ever done it better than that, folks. That was perfect. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the City of the Day... Is brought to you by Randy Van Warmer's Randy Van Warmer. Are you a man with a van or better yet, a woman with a van? Don't you hate it when you wake up to go to work and your van is freezing cold? Well, now there's Randy Van Warmer's Randy Van Warmer. Dennis. Dennis was acclaimed singer Randy Van Warmer's driver for many years up until Randy's untimely death in 2004. Since then, Dennis has been living in vans. So he's an expert on keeping them warm. Just toss him the keys to your van the night before, and in the morning, your van will be nice and toasty. The best part, Dennis will do it for free. He'll even bring his own sleeping bag or change the sheets after he spends the night if you have a mattress back there already. 
Feeling lonely? Dennis gets that. He's been single and ready to mingle since his <laughs> wife dumped him 15 years ago. Doesn't matter if you're a man or a lady, Dennis is Randy and anyone's dandy. So warm up your van with Randy Van Warmer's Randy Van Warmer by sending Dennis an email at BigSpoonDirtyBird1955 <laughs> at mailcan.net. He'll respond as soon as he gets service. <laughs> Promo <laughs> <laughs> Promotional song begins now. Those jeans are fitting him. <laughs> Randy Van, Randy Van, Randy Van, warmer. Dennis will warm up your van for free. This fly had to move all the way over to the sky. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Hey, Doug. Interesting stuff from Doug there. <laughs> <laughs> we discovered, we should talk about Randy Van Warmer a little bit because we, we discovered this guy on a, uh, well, let's take the city of the day and then remind me to talk about Randy Van Warmer. Michael, are you there? Michael. I am. Hello, Michael. How are you doing? Good, thanks, Ken. How are you? All right. Happy to be here. And I am in Charleston, South Carolina. Beautiful. All right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, follow up. Yeah. That's, is that all you uh, from, oh. <laughs> uh Well, being here, this is a couple months old, but mm. I feel like I don't think you guys talked about it. Uh, in February, in February, Bob Dylan on his Instagram posted just a random blues clip from an old blues guy, and there was a lot of rumor that it meant you know, blue standard album coming, but there was never any follow up. Hmm. Did you see that? And what do you think? I don't think Bob Dylan knows what he's doing with his Instagram. <laughs> I don't think so. Either. I think he thinks it's the Google search. <laughs> it's a mistake. <laughs> let's see if we can find you know, let's it. See here. It's, <laughs> There's no way Bob Dylan has someone, a clue what's going on with this. this I don't know. That's Lay Lady Lay. Oh. I'm going to so post, post on I just, I just double check. What's the coupon for outerwear? Yeah, 20%. Where's Bob Dylan's coupon for outerwear? Yeah, can we see that? <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh. February 1st. Oh, okay. Well, there's no ca no caption? There's no caption. I mean, every Bob Dylan record is like a blues record. I don't think it would be like him doing like blues. No, I don't think that's happening. He's I, not going to do that. I, he want... did those beautiful Sinatra records. Did you ever listen to those? The... Um, where he did no, I never did. Oh, they're like, fantastic. Where's like a crooner kind of thing? Yeah. Really? I yeah. still would like to yeah. see what the 20% off coupon yeah, is on Yeah, let's just, Bob can, can, can we go back there, Matt? Go ahead up. Bob's posting his coupons. There Speaking, it is. Speaking, oh. This is perfect. And no one ever said anything. And they oh, just like it. Is this album oh, called oh, Outerwear? <laughs> Does he have an album called Outerwear? outerwear? <laughs> called Outerwear. <laughs> Not a jean jacket. A big nice ski pocket. All brain. All proceeds go to me. I saw a great old clip of Bob. Um, sail on mittens. Sail on mittens. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep warm. Jack Frost be biting at your toes. There was a great clip of him from the 80s that I saw. Martha Quinn. Remember Martha Quinn? Yeah. Martha I Quinn in, well. interviewing Bob in uh, in London in 1986, and Bob is howny for her. Ooh. You can see it. What do, you, really? do you have that clip, Matt? <laughs> I don't know that one. We'll have to... I sent it to the group. No one looks at my... I guess no one looks anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I sent this clip of Bob Dylan horny for Martha <laughs> Quinn to the group. <laughs> Did nobody watch it? <laughs> That's a five-parter? <laughs> well, I don't think it's, it's a five-part yeah. interview. Hell no. He it's was that horny. Black and white. Let's keep yeah. going. This one? And they're, they're, it's funny because they're just like. It's good for the makeup. The, one I've, the ones I've seen, uh, my, uh, my favorite one is the. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's earlier because they, uh, he's, he, he, uh, Bob Dylan looks like Alice look and Janney dressed up as Gene Simmons. Oh. <laughs> she, she helps him put on makeup. Oh, wow. He's got that look where he got the eyeliner underneath. But Bob Dylan's with me. I would Bob like more credit for what I said. Some more laughs? Alice and Janney dressed up like Gene Simmons. I think you're right. I mean. Non-makeup Gene Simmons. Lick it up Gene Simmons. <laughs> Listen, I think, I think you're, I think you're right. Um, 
But look, Bob, uh, Ellie sent me this because she went down to the Bob Dylan Museum. And, uh, and Bob's an anti, I know you're, I know you have, I know why you're wearing, let me just say, I know why you're wearing the hat. Okay. <laughs> okay? I, yeah. I'm not dumb. I don't know why I'm wearing it. I'm not it. dumb. <laughs> but Bob says, this is a quote from Bob Dylan, it's not an old people's world. It has nothing to do with old people. Old people, when their hair grows out, they should go out. And I look down to see the people that are governing me and making my rules, and they haven't got any hair on their head. Oh. I get very uptight about it. Yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> so I hate bald people, <laughs> and so does Bob. <laughs> why have, Why did they choose that to put in the... Ah, get him out of here! Oh, shit. What are you talking about? It's coming back. <laughs> well, actually, I was going to say... I've been taking... Are you guys sponsored by Hims? <laughs> yeah, because... <laughs> Dick's hard, your hair grows back, it's everything you ever wanted. Because <laughs> you were fully shaved in the in the special. Yeah, I mean, I just kind of haven't been doing much the you last few months. Okay. Not a lot of demand from showbiz for your boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's me go up to the woods they, and let it loose. They prefer you shaved. The Nobody prefers does. me anything. <laughs> Nobody. Uh, this town ain't calling my phone. <laughs> well, you got to you got to get in there. You got to do that Netflix is a joke festival. Oh, mm. I walked by it. You got to get out there on the John Mulaney show. Got to stand out. The live watch. John Mulaney show. Speaking of comedy. Well, we could do, well, say no. goodbye to Michael. Bye, Michael. Bye, Mike. Thanks see for the guys. Dylan. Uh, Good to see you. Been a long time. Do you like Bob Dylan though? No. Tom goes to the mayor. Was like on a document, so happy to be here. Thank you. I'm happy to have you. And uh, maybe maybe a, a downsize your shoe collection a little bit. I Nobody's appreciating the organization. <laughs> I gotta. My wife says, "Yeah, I gotta start getting rid of those. It's getting a little old, but you know." You got we'll kids? See. Not yet. We're trying. <laughs> I don't see it happening for you. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Sorry about right. that. I'm just well, kidding, yeah. man. This guy's really taking it. I'm kidding. What? How would I know? Why I'm, would I know? Why I'm would I care? I'm rooting for you. You tell me. All right. Well, thank you guys. All right. We'll talk to you later. I have. He's this is my. Uh, bad for that guy. I know. He's my proctologist. <laughs> personal. <laughs> I do my proctology all over Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> you know who? Uh, you know who's in Zoom? Phil it's Braun. Tough to get the angles. Oh, right. I haven't heard from we Phil Braun from... in a while. Yeah, Phil. Phil. Hey, everybody! Long time. Haven't talked to you guys in a while. Yeah. So, Phil, how's everybody doing? Pretty good. Uh, hey, Phil. <laughs> hey there, Tim. What's the matter with you? <laughs> what's the, uh, nothing wrong with me? What do you mean? What's the matter with me? I'm on set. You look ridiculous. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm on a big movie set right now, uh, kind of same as you, you know, working, working <coughs> actor. And, uh, that is big. Just been on a big hit, uh, starring in a big hit movie, The People's Joker, and now I'm getting kind of offers to do other, other jobs, and uh, I'm sitting on set right now. Uh, anybody want to guess what, uh, what big movie I'm working on? Nope. <laughs> Don't, no, no guesses, Vic. Guess. Uh, uh, Unfrosted Two. <laughs> no. Uh, Pirates no, of the Caribbean. No. <laughs> no, we're doing a sequel to Mask. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not the uh, Jim Carrey or Rocky movie, Dennis, but the uh, the Rocky Dennis story. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Uh, or uh, Rocky playing. Balboa. No, what am I talking yeah. about? Rocky Balboa. No, no. <laughs> Mask. Uh, I'm playing Rocky Dennis, and uh, we're doing a sequel, Mask 2. It's going to be a big blockbuster. Warner Brothers is backing it, and uh, we're really excited about it. All right, and who are you playing? Oh, Rocky Dennis, the main, <laughs> the Eric, Eric Stoltz's character. When are you, um, you going to... Mask 2, uh, and if you watch the movie, the 1985 movie, uh, the sequel is uh, we're in present day... You know, the technology is caught up now. We're, uh, I've gotten, you know, the, I look exactly the way uh, Rocky Dennis would look in the future where the doctors have taken care of everything and now he's kind of on uh, a trek for revenge to kind of get back at all the people that uh, uh, have, you know, harmed him along the way. I'm like, I'm up. I'm into this. Are you... Uh, he's, he's, a, um, he's in the bike gang now? What about Cher? Oh. What about Sam well, Elliott? Uh, well, uh, I guess to answer the first question, so yeah, so I'm, you know, I'm wearing kind of a white collared shirt because uh, Rocky is now kind of in the white collar world. He's kind of more of a, like a Gordon Gecko 
corporate raider kind of guy, but he does still keep his roots uh, with the uh, the Turks. So he does still wear the leather vest to kind of, you know, hold on to his <laughs> motorcycle roots. Uh-huh. Uh, Cher turned us down, though. Oh, that's too bad. Bummer. She's a big uh, part of that. But Sam Elliott is going to be uh, in the movie, so that's good news. Uh, Sam Elliott will return. Um... And there's going to be another scene, too, which is going to be kind of a neat thing. So I don't know if you knew this, but Sam Elliott plays Rocky's stepfather in Mask. Well, that. that character also appears in Roadhouse. It's actually the same <laughs> character. <laughs> oh, oh so Mask is in the Roadhouse universe Whoa. or vice versa? I like this. Yeah, so he hires me to work with him at the Double Deuce. Uh, Rocky's an expert at jujitsu. We do some, you know, cleaning house, that kind of thing. Again, more of a vengeance sort of a tale. And uh, also good news, uh, yes, uh, the question to be answered here, we will see Sam Elliott's pubic hair in <laughs> Mask 2, <laughs> like we saw in Roadhouse. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, good luck. I guess we'll look for that sometime <laughs> next year, or when do you, when you expect uh, the Mask 2 to be out? <laughs> I mean, we're rushing it through. We're, we're probably well, don't do that. Don't rush movie. it through. Yeah. <laughs> Take yeah. your time. Simmer, simmer this one. Yeah. Well, we want to get it in for yeah. the Oscars next year, and uh, it's probably going to be out on Christmas, I would guess. The Christmas movie. Right. Who's directing uh, it? What's that? Who's directing it? He doesn't. Um, <laughs> well, I guess it's not Peter Bogdanovich. Um, we asked him, but he's apparently deceased, uh, so he's, he's no. not going to be. <laughs> you <laughs> asked him. Not going to get back to Peter you. Bogdanovich did mass? <laughs> Halfway through the film, you asked him finally. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Eric Stoltz could direct it. Yeah, I actually, I don't know. I haven't even met the director yet. I'm just, uh, you're, just showing up, doing my work. Wait, you're, wait, you're wait. You're the star of the film, and the, you haven't met the director yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, Who no, needs no. To I'm just when you got the source. I went material. straight to my trailer. Been working here, uh, trying to learn my lines, and uh, have not actually met the director yet. So you haven't <laughs> shot anything yet? No, not yet. This is the first day. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wow. wow I still am surprised <clears throat> that you wouldn't have had some kind of interaction or meeting with the take, director. Take a chemistry test or something. Hmm. I mean, it was is it because I was in the People's Joker. They just sort of hired me, just kind of, you know. Sight unseen, but uh, just because of my work there. And, uh, you know, today is the day, the first day we're going to be doing where uh, Rocky buys out the blind kid summer camp and then ends up laying off everybody there. Uh, <laughs> shuts the camp down out of uh, revenge for uh, oh, the geez. kids who probably made fun of them back then. Probably? We're not even just... <laughs> that's what we're, I thought that's where he met the love of his life. Uh, he does, but you remember she uh, she shuns him at the end of the movie. So he he ends up, you know, he gets rich. Rocky gets rich through all of his uh, stock trades and corporate raiderism uh, lifestyle. He ends up talking her into marrying him, but then divorces her out of spite. Cold blooded. I think you should call the movie Rocky: The Revenge. Um. Might get into some trouble with the Balboa estate, but uh, I think Mask <laughs> Two is really what it's going to be end up called. So wait, what is this? Not movie? a bad idea, though. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, The Mask Two: Rocky's Revenge. Uh, that could work. That could work. Well, I'll talk to get the back to us when you find out who the hell the director is. <laughs> I guess we'll find out together. I don't know. <laughs> no, we won't. You'll find out hopefully first because I'm going to end the call. <laughs> Well, suit yourself. <clears throat> All right, well, maybe, he's li maybe he or she... <laughs> suit yourself. Yeah. Well, maybe he or she's listening now and can zoom in. Is the director of Mask 2 on Zoom? Anybody? I'm going to end the call. Suit yourself. <laughs> is the, is the, do we have the director of Mask 2 on Zoom by chance? I mean, I'll do it. Yeah, raise your hand if you're listening. <laughs> there they are. Is it AC? No, no. no. Okay. All right. We'll let you go, Phil. Get back to work. Oh. Thank All right, Phil. appreciate good it, luck. guys. Good, good to see you. Have a great shoot, Phil. Thank you. Thank I'm you. Legitimately invested in that idea. <laughs> I was a uh, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean that sounds like a winner. Why not? I haven't seen I haven't seen Mask in a long time. But. It's it's a one. You don't go back to it. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Too you're, sad. you're not like ah, oh, it's a rainy day. No, Let's but throw I love, on. I love the I love any movie where you get a guy like Sam Elliott, tough guy. Yeah. Who shows a sensitive side. Come on. We love that, right? As men. 
It's a classic Let's trope. Let's us know we can do it. Too. Yeah, gives us permission. Speaking of that, I was watching um, the original Planet of the Apes with my kids last night. They wanted, they were curious. Okay. You know the original, Charlton Heston. I've heard of it. Yeah. Did they- Vic, I've I am aware of it. Oh really? Yeah, I've never seen, seen it. it. I've never seen it. Yeah. Oh I've really? The set you can go to like the set you can go on a, on a little hike and see the where they shot it all. Oh really? But yeah, it's. Uh, oh, it's great. It's a great. It's a great movie. But Charlton Heston is so unlikable in this movie. You've never seen anything like it. He's such a dick <laughs> to his other two crew guys. You think you're like it's the, basically if you don't know the story, the they, space guys yeah. go out on a, a mission. And they, they're one of those deep sleep deals where they go in yeah. the container. And by the way, I'm doing this almost in tribute to you because of your beautiful Fast and Furious recaps. Oh. I saw uh, uh, in the special. It made me think. You could, yeah, just sell it. Yeah. Sight unseen, sell it. Absolutely. I, can t- I could sell you on this movie. Give it to me. There they are traveling through space, going to explore. I don't know what they're going to, into space to do. They're going they're, so they get in their little uh, pods yeah. and then close it up. Cut to beards. They it, time has passed, right? Uh. These guys grew beards. <laughs> but the three it was three guys, one woman. Woman, something must not have been closed right with the the pods. She was turned into like a mummy. Okay. Aged because they went like a thousand years into the future through space like time got, relativity. But how big are the beards? Not that big. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so now they crash into this foreign this foreign uh, planet. They don't know where they are. I mean, we all know the ending, right? We all know the yeah. ending. But at the time you're watching this movie, you're like, I think they're just on this, this weird planet. This planet is just of the apes. Yeah, it's, it's, it is of the apes. Yeah. But Charlton Heston is such a dick. The movie starts with him being like, making a, a memo. He's like, I don't care where I go. I will know. I know that I'll never see my friends or family again. Okay. Like he's happy. I have no <laughs> regrets. And then the guys are like trying to get used to this thing, and they're like, "Don't you realize everyone you've known, everyone you've cared about or loved, has been dead for over two thousand years?" <laughs> he's laughing. At, he's laughing at his friends. The two guys left. Yeah. And there's no uh, sympathy. And uh, anyways, they get caught by these apes. Charlton Heston gets shot in the neck. Yeah. Uh, right? By these these damn dirty apes. Yeah. <laughs> right? And so they've got him pr- imprisoned. None of there's other humans around that are like basically like apes. Yeah. They're the reverse. So he but he can talk. But he can't talk because he got shot in the neck. Yeah. So that's the that, that's the only way any of this makes sense. So they have to shoot him in the neck. Otherwise, right away, Charlton Heston's gonna be like, hang on a minute, I'm a human being, and then it's gonna I have some movie's questions. Ruined. Yeah. So the like mm-hmm. middle of the movie is him just being like, <laughs> it's so stupid. The old lost voice. Yeah. <laughs> trope. <laughs> but anyway, my kids were loving it, but they hated Charlton Heston. They were like, I hate this guy. This guy's an asshole. I don't know how old your kids are, but like thirty the... and <laughs> okay, 40. so they 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 can appreciate some stuff. Yeah, no, 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 no. Seven and ten. <laughs> Do they not get distracted like by old kind old? Special effects or anything? They're amused by it. They think, <laughs> they think it's. That's. Uh... They think it's like funny and interesting to look at. They're they're in, well. You, you should kids, show them mask do, then. Yeah, mask would be interesting. Do they? Do your kids like? Um, can they handle old effects in movies? They're all right with it. I mean, yeah. they're not. Yeah. They, I mean, they pre- much prefer the new stuff. Well, because I remember when I was a kid, I get angry at stuff that because it was I was watching it get so advanced. Mm-hmm. But now I don't know if. If you're like eight years old, if you just yeah. are in, interested in the scope of it all, they were into it. They were really into it. And I, we didn't finish it because it was bedtime. But then yeah. I'm like, "Oh, we got an ending for you." There's a, you, there's a yeah. This, that's got to be the original twist. What movie do you get a twist like that from? From like the, some uh, uh, pre sixty, the old Twilight Zone. <laughs> I just love books. My glance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's irony. <laughs> oh, this nerd. <laughs> I don't know. This gotta suck be, it, nerd. Th- well, you know, you say that that's who wrote Planet of the Apes, Rod Serling. Was it? Yeah. I don't know anything. Nah. Are you serious? Yeah. It was, well, it was a story by him or something. Vic, I'm so glad that you yeah, are right, also. Because I'm, I'm embarrassed it. to not know this. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. all right, man, Vic. That's the only one. Matt, have you seen it? I've never, I've never seen the whole thing, no. Oh, okay. i got to watch it. You, it's know, all, you know what's neat about? Oh. I love eight men. Yeah. You know what's <laughs> neat about 
like all the streaming things is that these movies that we always used to see like on shitty televisions yeah. and uh, bad videotapes and stuff, they're all like now fully remastered and they're like all beautiful. Like they're all from the original, yeah. you know, t like the old Godzilla movies and stuff. They're like, you watch them on Max or wherever and it's like, these, these look great. They all look like, of course they did. They're made by, gonna, they're, they're good movies. I'm inspired to have like a rainy day film fest with all these classics now. I got you inspired. So let's get into you. Ugh. <laughs> I want to get into you. We want to. Because the big thing in the, the special <laughs> of yours is you've, up, you've moved up into the suburbs. What does that mean? I was that at the time. Now I'm in the, well, I'm in, whoa. I'm in Portland proper whoa, whoa, now. Whoa. Sorry, sorry. Whoa. Whoa. Back we need a disclaimer on this special. I'm pushing back, man. I'm pushing back. So now you're in actual Portland. Yeah. How do you like Portland? It's nice. You like it. You it's got a lovely. you got a little life update. You got a wife? Not a wife. I got a I got a lady friend. She lives here mostly. I live there mostly. What is this? We kind of. I don't live thing? by parameters, man. Sounds. Like I don't a, follow these institutions. It sounds like you're stacking up a lot of Alaska air miles. <laughs> or maybe some yeah. Southwest. <laughs> Those exit rows are open a lot these yeah. days. Um, but you're on the road a lot. Yeah, I just so it's like, where, where do you? I just go out and I tell my jokes and I come back to my little house, <laughs> <laughs> and it's the best. It's the best ever. Are you gonna do? You, are you? Are you have shows currently that you're promoting, or you're not on the road? Just right stand up now? shows. Just I just go do stand up I know. forever, always. You just this is what you'll do. That's what I have. Yeah, that's not. It's not like a. Do you do tour. your own shows, or you go into these co these comedy clubs? Just clubs. I was doing my own stuff, but it kind of got. I don't know. I, I thought it was like all cool and punk rock to play like these venues, and then people were like, "Yeah, it's Tuesday, and it's a weird part of town, and I got yeah. kids. So could you just start playing comedy clubs where I know I can get food?" Right. <laughs> <And> like, <laughs> I, I want to support these independent venues, but also like I don't want to. I don't know if I got a stand for this right. show. I'm like, all right, you're right. And the clubs have kind of upped their game. And they're. And I can now, when I couldn't sell any tickets, it's weird. Some of these clubs are like 400 seats. And like, hey, you're going to do five shows at four in a four. I'm like, that's 2,000 empty seats. Yeah. <laughs> that's what that is. So it's better now. I it's like better. it. I, I love doing it. That's all I've done. That's, I mean. They don't take a big cut, do they? They must. They take whatever they take. Same like anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> they get their they get their bits. They sell their they sell their Bud Light. Do you get paired they... with people that you belong with, or is it all random and weird? No, sometimes I'll bring out friends. Otherwise, they're good. Like there's everybody. There's so many comedians right now, too and many. there's so many. Too many. Very much too many. <laughs> but also, the percentage of good ones is higher now too. Yes. And yeah. there's more people aware of what is hack and what is lousy and what to avoid. Well, you take so. a hard turn to the right to get arena shows? <laughs> mean, 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 uh, mean uh, politically? Yeah. Oh, it is such an easier grift. It is, it's, it does seem that way, It's right? such an easier grift to yeah. like, let me, and another thing. Yeah, complain the, about the, And another thing, comics. Yeah. Hey, day 14,000 people, you can't say anything anymore. <laughs> That's right. You can't. I mean, you, you I told you, I hey, told my, you. Hey, my nine-figure Spotify deal. <laughs> Let me tell you, you can't say anything anymore. Can't someone say what they think, and I say what I think, and we just d decide like what makes sense and what doesn't make sense based on our own interpretations. Can we just communicate? <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I would just, all I want to do is hear J Joe Rogan talk about the the pyramids. Like, get back to that crap. It doesn't matter, you know, when they're sitting around talking about pyramids yep. and yep. Uh, JFK, maybe, well, maybe big, not big even doobie that. pontifications. Yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> I saw. I was w watching that show just oh, a random click. Oh, whoops. Clip. You know, everybody's make, everybody's making their money while they can yeah. make their money. You guys, you guys should start a booze brand. I said, what kind of booze Kyle would you Tim's. sell? What kind of booze? Yeah, what kind of booze? Oh, we gotta also get Kyle down to uh, Kyle, Texas. Is that happening? Oh. You know about this? Yeah, I've been sent it. But every the last, half, every the... half hour. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, have you heard about this? Yeah, I've heard about it. <laughs> that guy asked us to be, me and Eric to be on his cooking show. I'm like, nah, I don't think that. I did it. With, a, I did it with Matt Bronger. You did. Couldn't have been a best. I don't have time. a home studio. Yeah, I just said <laughs> I don't want to. All right, Tim, I don't want to get any got staff money. I don't want to get near that shit. You know, no offense. Like, no offense. I'm but. doing two of his tour dates. 
Okay. <laughs> well, it's a nice, from what I understand, he's a nice guy. What do you want me to do? But I'm not going to go there and cook, <laughs> from cook what I stand there and cook. <laughs> what do I fucking do, need to we do? We didn't that either. For? We just kind of made fun of stuff. Well, I'll watch. I'll, now I'll watch. Now it sounds interesting. Um, What's happening in this photo? <laughs> That's that's their home club. The comedy. I'm mothership. playing. I'm playing that. Club. Oh, don't go to. The, don't listen. Go to if the, I can take money from Live Nation, I could take it from other. Of course, monoliths. I'm not judging you for doing anything. <laughs> um, Matt, should we get to Mo two, well, M two? Let's. We we got a few more minutes. Oh, you want to do a, a phone call? Yeah, let's dip in on the hotline. Uh, that's a great idea. This head head thing is really bugging me. Bugging my ear. Let's go. Oh, you're uh, in your mind. Mine name. keeps dipping out. Yeah. <clears throat> Not exactly let's, Abbey Road in here. Let's talk to Andrew, 404. <laughs> you there, Andrew? Sorry. Luke Albany would be very disappointed. In this <laughs> <laughs> Hello? How you doing? Doing all right. <laughs> Is anyone going to watch Let It Be? Uh, by so. <laughs> you know? Are you going to watch Let It Be, the remastered Let It Be? Uh, I think no. I will. I mean, I've seen it, the original before yeah, in the 4 That's what this three. is. I oh, know, but yeah. Uh, remastered. Put it on. Why not? I've listened to the Beatles yeah. as much as I've watched Planet of the Apes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you into? Rock rack? Rock yeah, rack? Yeah. Rock rack? Rock rack? Yeah. Rock rack? That was one of the judgment. That day? was one of the monkeys on Planet of the Apes, I think. <laughs> rock rock Is he rack? Like a lieutenant. Sorry, caller. What can I do for you? <laughs> How can we help you? Hey. Um, so, for the most part, movies have sequels and albums have volumes, probably because albums don't necessarily forward a character or change locations. But I think there can be exceptions and uh -huh. have a possible example. Uh, what do you think of Graceland 2? Oh, I know of this. Uh, Graceland 2 would be Rhythm of the Saints? No, the idea that Graceland would be its own sequel, and if they made a new album today, like, where could it be? What could it be about? The premise. Oh, I thought you were referring to the actual location, Graceland 2. Where, where would that be? You know be? what? This, I, I no, forgot. That's, I think there actually is a Graceland 2 in, a, in Mississippi. It was a guy that was a big Elvis fan. Oh, yeah, and yeah. He just, and then, but then he sh oh. He's like, you can come in any, any oh. time. And then the guy showed up and he shot him. And now they yeah. closed it. Oh, Jesus. Much like the original Elvis. Loves shooting his gun. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a knife. <laughs> well, you, you, you want me to go down some kind of hypothetical uh, rabbit hole here on, the, on a Paul Simon album that is sort of a return to the sound textures of Graceland? Uh, long and short, I was saying that, uh, you know, he recorded that in South Africa during apartheid, and I think that there could be a sequel to Graceland these days. Oh, he's making, he's making a mm. Gaza thing about apartheid? Is that what you're trying to get? I... Yeah, West Bank. <laughs> yeah, it's anyway, stunk. Well, that failed. It's stunk, man. But you're the best! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, That's a bummer. <laughs> Thanks for the bummer. I tried. I tried. I tried to come with a premise. At least you did that. At least you did that. <laughs> There's McCartney 1, McCartney 2, McCartney 3. That's it, right? That's it. Chicago lunch. Hey, you want to play the Chicago game? Oh, we well, we'll play, play that. Actually, now we have. Well, they're like now a we have. different record. Now we have, now to, we take we have to take a break. Take a We're going to take a musical break right now. Now, right, let me explain this. Get off my phone. <laughs> Bye, Andrew. <laughs> This guy. Dream, 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 dream. I thought I was two. dragging the show down. Graceland 2, Graceland 3. Graceland 2, Graceland 3, Graceland 1, when Graceland 2, Graceland 3, Graceland 1. Apartheid. Mic check. <laughs> so, this happened a couple weeks ago. We, uh, it was right around... Um, What's that called? Music festival out Coachella. Oh yes, yes. Coachella. Coachella. That's, Coachella. That's, That's why right. they were out here. Is that what it was? Yes. yes. Oh. So we had an opportunity. They said we'd love to do the show. We'd love to have you on the show. Unfortunately, the timing didn't work out where they could where they couldn't be here during a live show. We had a very long debate about it. Very intense debate. Very angry debate. <laughs> no, yeah. no. He said, "Well, something's better than nothing." So they came in and we said, "Well, if we're going to do it, we, we're going to get cameras in here. We're going to." Luke's going to do a proper sound mix. We're going to have an actual um, office hours studio session with Mdu Mokdar. 
Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you're familiar with these guys. I'm not. They're from Niger, mm-hmm. and it's exciting, and it is uh, incredible musicianship, the likes of which we've never seen on this show, I have to tell you. So <laughs> here is a pre-taped Mdo, Mdu Mokdar, uh, which will play another song after at the end of the show today, and all three big songs from the band will be up on Patreon later in the week. Oh, wow. Soon enough. Oh, so, uh, but wow. we're, we're going to do one song now, and then we'll come back and talk to Kyle. We'll play the Chicago game, and we'll listen to the big, uh, great, unfrosted debate that I'm excited to have with Vic. <laughs> and I hope it will end with peace and love. Uh, be back in a few. Watch us on Patreon at patreon.com slash office hours live! <laughs> All right, Wes, you ready? Thanks, man. That was good. That was fun. All
Go and get the full show, bro. Why the hell haven't you become a member? Don't you like to pay for things? We have bills, you know. Help us keep the lights on. Help us help you with fun and laughs. Let's go and get yourself the full entire show in its entirety, completely and totally full. No ads. Did you hear me? I said no ads. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up and hear the rooster singing cock a doo What? 